The time right now is 9 p.m. and I'm looking for something to eat here in Fuente. And I've seen this sweet and bread shop just behind me. And some of the desserts and snacks from here look really appetizing. So I want to try them out. They're about 10 pesos each. You want to eat? You want one? Okay. Ma'am, can I get an ube roll? Two. Well, can you separate them? One for me and one for this kid. There you go. Thank you. Thanks very much. That's okay. Don't worry. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I've gone with one of these flat ube things. Basically cake. Oh, it's like fudge cake. Very nice. It's got a bit of coconut on it. And it's quite chewy in texture. Oh, I do like that. 10 pesos as well. There does seem to be some sauce in this. Wow, I wasn't expecting this to be that good. Me. Okay, I actually want to try more from here. It's called the sweet and baked. It's 24 hours as well. Wow, that was not me. Mmm. Yes. I like the sweet stuff. There's coconut inside. And that one's butter. Okay, let's try the coconut one then. And what about these yo yo's? There's what inside? Margarine. Margarine, no. Oh. Let me. Ah, oh, okay. And this crinkle? That's cocoa, is it? Can I get one yo yo as well? Hi, do you want something? Yeah. Just put together? Yeah, just put it together. Okay, how much is that in total? 27. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we've got three more things. We've got a, a yo-yo, which is these flat ones here, a crinkle, and some bread with, I believe, coconut in there as well. They're very warm and nice and fresh. Because this time around I have quite a few in this bag, I need to find a place to eat them. Um, I believe Fuente Osmania Circle is actually closed right now, so you can't go in the park. But if you could, there's plenty of chairs in which you can sit down. But uh, maybe I'll try and find a step. Maybe I can do it in front of Robinson's Fuente. Oh! So I started off with a blandest, and goodness me, it's nice and soft and warm. There's a bit of coconut in there. It's really delicious. Mmm. Why didn't I know about this sooner? It's so good. Mm. Oh. Well, I mean, mate. I don't know if this was even better than the one I had previously, the Ube one. Mmm. Maybe I'll sit on this step. Mm. Is that still recording? I don't know. All right, next thing we're trying out is something called yo-yo. And uh, it's, again, got this kind of like purple color. Supposedly, it's got ube flavor too. And there's sugar that's been sprinkled all over it. So I'm guessing it's going to be very sweet. Okay, I'm going to dive into this. It's very spongy. But um, I think it's probably my least favorite of the ones I've tried tonight. And I think that's because of the um, sugar on top. It gives this kind of like crunchy kind of feel. It's very sweet as well. And I reckon if this was a little bit fresher, maybe it'd be a little bit nicer. And there does seem to be condensed milk in the middle of these two sandwiched ube kind of muffins. I really should have got myself some water because my mouth is just full of sugar right now. Maybe I'll pop in some mercury drugstore later. Okay, so the last one has got chocolate in it and you can see on the outside it's been covered in flour. I'm gonna go for a taste test. Mm. 
Okay, the taste isn't as intense with this one as it was with the previous one, which I prefer. It's like you're eating a chocolate brownie. That's what it reminds me of. With chocolate brownies, I do love to wash it down with a Coke. Well, that was Filipino dessert. Three out of the four that I tried, I would highly recommend. Now, time to go get a bit of water or some Coke down me. Uh, okay, I've changed my mind. Rather than going into the Mercury drugstore, I'm gonna go into the 7-Eleven, which is just down the road over there, about 50 meters away, because when you honestly try and buy something from a drugstore here in the Philippines, uh, everybody's waiting for their prescriptions, and that can take a long time, especially if you're just gonna go in there and buy some water. So you're just better off going to a 7-Eleven, a convenience store like that. I know that from experience, because I've gone in there to buy a bottle of water, and I was sat there for like 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, up until today, I used to be very skeptical of those sort of like bakery stores uh, that sell desserts and cake like that. But uh, that was really delicious. And so that's really opened my mind to try out more places like that whenever I come across them. Alrighty, I've come to North Escario Street. I've taken a motorbike taxi for 50 pesos from the 7-Eleven in which I was earlier. So I do wanna get myself a coffee an ice americano i wonder when this place closes anyway today's coffee is secured i'm just gonna go grab a slightly thinner straw because i do feel like it's weird drinking a coffee with such a big diameter straw damn all the lights are off except for the starbucks over there which i don't know if it's a 24 hour one but um Ooh. This looks all right. Dove 10. <laughs> I actually just walked into the bloody window. My cup came off, my straw fell off. Bloody hell, how clear was that window, huh? Bloody hell, I thought it was open, look. Does that not look open to you? That look, look, that right side there looks perfectly open. Oh, I can't wait to review that footage. <laughs> and then there's the grill. Wait, that's Burger King. Oh well. Uh, what am I gonna go with? I like to go with an extra long chicken if they have it in stock. Hello man, can I get a uh, extra long chicken? Huh? Meal, sir, with Pepsi. Oh, meal, meal. Okay. Will you drink, sir? Uh, can I get a Coke or a Pepsi? Well, I found a seat in the corner. I know Burger King is not Filipino food or anything interesting. Anyway, I'm not bothered. I do like myself a little bit of Burger King. And I haven't had a chicken, an extra long chicken in a long time. Food has arrived. Why is the coat flat? I was reading the chat while I was waiting for my food and somebody commented, Mergim, are you still in the Philippines? Yes, I'm still in the Philippines. My vlogs are up to date, they're always up to date. When they're not up to date or when I'm uh, showing something maybe that's a week old, two weeks old, I will say it in the video. Just to prove these vlogs are up to date. Today is the 26th of July, 2022. By the, the time in which you see this vlog will probably be the 27th of July. Okay, I've now finished up with my meal. I'm gonna hop on a, another taxi motorbike and go back to Fuente. But um, I think if I can get this vlog out really quickly tonight, then tomorrow I might possibly go to the north of Cebu and visit an island that I've been meaning to do so for a very long time. But with that said, I hope the weather permits because it has been kind of rainy around here in Cebu. And also, we're in a period that is known as the typhoon period, so um, hopefully it all is good and everything is safe. So uh, yeah, I think it's time for a change. I've been in the city for about a week, a week and a half. Time to go to the beach again. Well, there we have it folks. That was today's video. I'm gonna quickly offload all this footage onto my laptop and start editing away. But uh, if you enjoyed this very simple video of me trying out some Filipino snacks and desserts and cookies, then um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, 
and share this video with friends and family and I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching guys, take care and bye for now.